Pondicherry is one of the union territories of India located on the Coromandel coast, 160 kilometers south of Chennai. Its pristine geographical location on the east coast has not only attracted more than one colonial occupation, the last and longest being that of the French, but also was an abode to two spiritual visionaries, Sri Aurobindo and the mother, whose ashram and the international township of Oroville have attracted national and international communities. The national poet Mahakavi Sri Subramanya Bharati's several masterpieces were created when he lived at Pondicherry and his disciple Pavendar Bharati Dasan, a social revolutionist, lived in Pondicherry. The need to create a center of higher learning in the Union territory of Pondicherry was felt by the late Prime Minister Srimati Indira Gandhi as early as in 1980 and Pondicherry University was established in 1985 through an act of parliament when Sri Rajiv Gandhi was the Prime Minister. It is an affiliating university with its jurisdiction extended to Karaikal, Yarnam, Mahe, Andaman and Nicobar and even Lakshadweep Islands. The main university campus is spread over sprawling 780 acres of lush green tropical vegetation on the east coast with a meticulously planned zone and vigorous afforestation program. The entire fauna and flora has recently been documented and published. Two more postgraduate centers have been established at Port Blair and Karaikal during the last five years. The university is a member of the Association of Indian Universities, Association of Commonwealth Universities and International Association of University Presidents. The President of India is the visitor of the university and by convention the Vice President of India is the Chancellor. The Lieutenant Governor is the Chief Rector of the University. The University is governed by the Court, Executive Council, Academic Council, School Boards, Planning Boards, Finance Committee and a number of advisory committees including the Academic Advisory Committee. During the 11th five-year plan, the three objectives identified for the University were expansion to reach the critical mass, excellence to attain global parity of standards and equity to ensure inclusive growth. These objectives were incorporated in the vision paper of the 11th plan proposal and a roadmap was prepared, keeping in view the recommendations of the earlier NAC committee. The university thus set its own targets of 6,000 students and scholars and 500 faculty members in five years for the period ending 2012. A further target of up to 10,000 students and scholars and 750 faculty was also visualized by the year 2017. Several important and new teaching programs in various disciplines have been identified and introduced in the university. The new MSc and PhD programs added during the last five years are education, mass communication, electronic media, South Asian studies, applied psychology, coastal disaster management, computational biology, network and internet engineering, food science and technology, food science and nutrition, microbiology, exploration geosciences, nanoscience and technology, electronic engineering, green energy technology, environmental engineering and management, library and information sciences, social work, and accounting and taxation. With the dedicated efforts of the teaching, non-teaching and technical staff, engineering and horticulture division and all other technical and support staff, the university has been successful in achieving the set targets much ahead of the stipulated period. At present, the university has 46 departments, centers and chairs and 15 schools offering in all 157 programs. The various schools are Subramanya Bharati School of Tamil, 
School of Management, School of Physical, Chemical and Applied Sciences, School of Life Sciences, School of Media and Communication, School of Social Sciences and International Studies, School of Humanities, School of Engineering and Technology, Ramanujan School of Mathematical Sciences, School of Education, Madanjit School of Green Energy Technologies, School of Medical Sciences and the School of Law and School of Performing Arts. The total strength of the students has been steadily increased to now to 6,000 which is little over three times the strength during the last accreditation. The sanctioned faculty strength has been increased from 227 to 460. The technical staff, support staff, including library staff, have increased from 572 to 686. The syllabi have been reviewed at least once in two years for all postgraduate and undergraduate programs. The university library, characterized by its serene and motivating environment, has been completely modernized with central air conditioning, 120 computer systems, total automations, barcoding, 128 Mbps internet access. The increase in teaching and research programs and students warranted enormous increase in the built space. The university therefore added over 1 million square foot of built area, providing spacious and respectable space to all the departments, laboratories, faculty members and scholars with modern modular furnishing and cabins. Over 50 crore rupees have been spent to develop the most modern science teaching and research laboratories besides a central analytical facility and central instrumentation facility. Besides 34 computer laboratories for various departments with over 2000 computers, the university has several sophisticated instruments such as X-ray diffractometer, electron probe microanalyzer, spectrofluorometer, scanning electron microscope, atomic force microscope, Fourier Transformed Infrared Spectrometer FTIR 400 MHz FTNMR Wavelength Dispersive X-ray Fluorescence Spectrometer WD-XRF Thermal System DTA, TGA, DSC Broadband Dielectric Spectrometer High Performance Liquid Chromatography HPLC Gamma Ray Chamber the university is in the process of acquiring a high-end transmission electron microscope and is also planning to establish a supercomputing facility. The university today has 19 UGC special assistance departments known as SAP departments. These are the Subramanya Bharati School of Tamil, departments of chemistry, biotechnology, commerce, earth sciences, ecology and environmental sciences, English, French, history, mathematics, philosophy, physics, tourism studies, biochemistry and molecular biology, computer science, education, economics, politics and international studies and department of management studies. Six university departments have been selected for DST FIST program. These are the departments of Chemistry, Biotechnology, Physics, Earth Sciences, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology and Mathematics. Two of the university departments, namely Center for Bioinformatics and Department of Earth Sciences, enjoy the status of national facilities and centers of excellence. The university is recognized for DST FIRS program in the Department of Earth Science Biotechnology, Bioinformatics or rare recognition with a grant of 9 crore rupees and an interdisciplinary research project called Interdisciplinary Programs in Life Sciences, IPLS with a funding of 10 crore rupees from DBT for promoting interdisciplinary research. The faculty of the university has published 2,390 research papers for the past five years with a cumulative impact factor of 966 over these five years. The faculty has also published 183 books 
and contributed chapters in 271 books. The average citation index on Scopus is 6.16 with an H index of 33, which is very close to Jawaharlal Nehru University and University of Delhi, next only to University of Hyderabad. Over 280 research projects at a cost of over 75 crore rupees are under progress in the university. The university has recently decided to establish a full-fledged publication division with the object of bringing out standard books in various subjects under the banner of Pondicherry University Press. The various journals started through duly registered societies at the Pondicherry University are International Journal of South Asian Studies International Research Journal of Social Sciences Indian Journal of Philosophy, Religion and Culture International Journal of Microfinance International Journal of Economics and Management Science Vishwa Bharati Yatra These journals are hosted on the site of Inflipnet and also in the university website. The other publications launched are the Student Practice Journal Inquirer by the students of mass communication with web editions, Student Journal Prerana and University News. The faculty is involved in extensive research consultancy and extension work. The anthropological excavation of artifacts belonging to the second century by the Department of History, the extensive documentation of tribal communities of Andaman and Nicobar Islands by the Department of Anthropology are noteworthy research achievements. The other university departments, namely Center for Pollution Control, Departments of Earth Sciences, Physics, Chemistry, Biotechnology, Sociology, Social Work, Psychology, Management, Economics and Commerce have been engaged in external consultancies. The Madanjeet Singh Institute of South Asian Regional Cooperation and Madanjeet School of Green Energy Technologies are unique in the country, established through a generous donation of a total of 2 million US dollars by the Ambassador Madanjeet Singh, founder of South Asia Foundation. Students from Sark countries are supported by the Madanjeet Singh Scholarship to study in these schools. The Department of Mass Communication and Electronic Media is also established with the object of reaching international training standard in media. The production staff has produced over 42 documentaries. A few of them have won national level recognition and awards. The university has approached the UGC for a full EMMRC for the university, which is likely to be sanctioned. The Pondicherry University has boosted sports fitness and healthy living enormously. Exclusive gyms have been provided for girls and boys. New sports grounds, courts, international cricket pitch and a host of other facilities have been developed. The university proposes to institute Silver Jubilee Rolling Trophies for national inter-university matches in cricket and women football. In addition, it has been hosting All India Meets sponsored by AIU. Over 10 new hostels have been added during the last five years and the university has 19 hostels of which seven are exclusively for girls. About 2,000 boys and over 1,000 girls reside on the campus. There has been a constant effort to improve the student support system. Some of the features and innovations which make Pondicherry University unique in the country and make it the one and the only university are Total Wi-Fi, 780 acres campus, free transport to university, free battery operated cars on campus, 300 bicycles on the campus to commute, free accommodation to all girls, 30% food subsidy to students of hostels whose parental income is less than 4.50 lakhs, free education to all physically challenged students including the hostels, 
exclusive facility for visually impaired in the library, free quarters to visually impaired faculty, 100% power backup to all departments and hostels, remote access to library, yoga classes, university bookshop, sports stadium and fitness gymnasium for women and men. The community college, the first to be started in the country, which offers skill-oriented programs, has created thousands of employable skilled youth. The two centers at Karaikal and Andaman are also a testimony to the effort of the university to take higher education to backward and far-off places. Programs in coastal disaster management and marine sciences are offered at the Port Blair campus. MCA and management and commerce programs are offered at Karaikal. Realizing the needs of the young mothers, the university has set up a free state-of-the-art daycare center and kindergarten for children of employees and scholars. The university established the community radio station in 2008 with full-fledged staff in order to reach out to the local community through its various programs on education, health, arts, fishing, childcare, motherhood and a host of other issues. The community radio has won a national award in connecting with local culture. The campus placement record has increased progressively with nearly 100% placement in all management programs and a fair number in all other disciplines. The university also coordinated the placement of graduates from its affiliated professional colleges through an effective joint placement council. The Students' Council and Student Committees ensure the participation of students in decision-making in all matters relating to student amenities, hostels and mess. Students are also compulsorily represented in academic matters through the program committee in every department. The university campus reverberates with seminars, symposia, workshops, programs of the academic staff college, cultural meets and several regional festivals throughout the year. On an average, 75 conferences and workshops are held annually. The students have a literary club, quiz club, music club and cultural club. The atmosphere in the campus is so serene and green. The facilities are so attractive. The quality of education progressively improving. The ambience being so motivating that Pondicherry University has emerged as one of the most sought after destinations by students from across the country. Over 46,000 aspirants applied in 2011 for 3,000 vacancies and the admitted students represent 33 states. The vision I have for Pondicherry University for the next 10 years is that it should reach a student strength of 18 to 20,000. It should have about 800 faculty to 1,000 faculty. It should have about 1,500 to 2,000 scholars working on the campus. And then you should establish a school of undergraduate studies. Integrated program should be introduced into almost all the programs wherever feasible so that the fragmentation of the undergraduate program with the postgraduate and research is removed and then of course we have the state of the art laboratory and the library which will continue to support and it should be expanded in a big way now unless you have this critical mass i'm afraid no university in india can reach anywhere near the global standards and nor it can appear on the international ranking list. Pondicherry University has got a great potential, not only because of its excellent location, the visibility it has gained for the past five years leaves no doubt in my mind that it will be most sought after destination for higher education in future. The growth of aspirants from 7,000 to 46,000 in just four years and 33 states represented on the campus 
just testifies the, um, the our 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 very deep conviction that this is going to be an ultimate destination for the students to uh, choose for a higher edu education.